sound of an argument over the price of several objects escapes from the game. You're fairly certain none of the items being discussed were legally obtained. The local orcs have transformed this cave into a shrine. Something glimmers nearby. It must be one of the visions revealed by the gatekeeper's spell. A groan from the nearby cot shows that this orc elder is alive, though not in any condition to receive guests. Ahead is a small fountain, flanked by two large bears. Fortunately for you, these particular bears are stuffed. blocks your path, decorated with masks and totems. To your surprise, one of the totems begins to speak. Gain strength and endurance to reach the home of the elders. Bull skulls decorate this modest fountain. Clear water gushes out into the basin. Stony Guardian springs to life.
It seems that the final resting place of the Orc Elders has a watchful and hungry guardian. was sent to retrieve the skull of an orc elder yet who was it that sent the initiate to plunder this sacred site and why Creatures line this white marble dais. The old mine here has long since collapsed. Someone must have dug one too many times. at the main shaft of the abandoned mine. Security constructs shuffle around nearby, still active long after the miners left. A hastily scrawled note at the beginning of this journal orders the mine's closure due to the release of some kind of hostile creature. Surely you'd be doing everyone a favor if you cleared out the dangers from this dusty old mine. These destroyed constructs look like they've been partially beaten. Spiders certainly wouldn't do that. There must be something else around here. Something with a taste for metal.
Several clay golems stand idle in this mage rite's workshop, waiting to be reactivated. They would be difficult to fight, though it might also be argued that it's better for you to deal with them now, before someone less prepared comes along. A sheet of flames blocks the way down. You spot a fire elemental pacing frantically below. There must be some other way down. A nearby Kanith crystal hums with magical energy. It's connected to a barrier that blocks the path forward. The barrier fades, and a wave of searing heat buffets your face. An ancient magma brute lumbers about in the large chamber ahead. Brightly pulsing chunk of the creature. The heart of an ancient magma brute. The something old yet new that Capstone was sent here to collect. since collapsed. Someone must have dug one too many times. Before she disappeared, Lily Hargrove returned home in search of something bright and loud. All you see when you enter is an old woman sitting alone by the fire. She doesn't seem to notice you. The old woman rambles on, her thoughts clouded by some terrible experience. But suddenly, a shadow passes over her face. <gasps> the garden! The garden! She gasps.
You find a dull and rusted scythe among the other garden tools in this workshop. You take it with you. Perhaps you'll need it outside. You attempt to pry open the door, but it refuses to budge. You reason that unlocking the mechanisms on the walls will allow the door to open. You find a knapsack on the balcony. Its contents suggest its owner has recently returned from a long voyage. Somber note play as the door creaks open. You emerge into the hot air and find yourself on the back porch. You use the scythe to cut down the bamboo that has sprung up around the back porch. Before you stretches an overgrown wasteland, the remains of the family's crop field. You pause, struck by a headache, as a cold voice sounds around you. Come here, Lily. A little bit farther. You hear the ghostly voice again. Almost there, Lily. I'm waiting under our favorite tree. The maze of overgrown shrubbery leads you into a clearing where... Do you remember, Lily? The voice rasped. Lily's family turns in surprise to see their estranged daughter. They notice that something about her seems wrong. Unhinged, even. <coughs> Briar screams as the bird descends upon Rosemary and Sage. Lily says. You'll all see. My voice will shake the world! When the vision fades, an incorporeal figure appears before you. <laughs> so just, Lily. And now look what you've done. You want my songs? Come and get them! Blinded and enraged, the phantom lunges towards you. The phantom shrieks, her voice echoing through the clearing and sending a sharp pain to your skull. But soon she dissolves into a thin mist and vanishes.
You found Rosemary's songbook, but most of the pages are torn and missing. Perhaps there is something else nearby that can deliver a song back to the gatekeepers. You realize that Rosemary's parrot has learned to repeat parts of her songs. With the bird in tow, you can finally return to the gatekeepers and leave this cursed place behind you. <laughs>